Hello, this is Andy Ford with Andy Ford Video. Today we're going to look at adding zeros before your main numbers in a counter. So here we have a text layer. We'll go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a slider control. Then we'll all click or option click on the stopwatch for source text. And then we'll use the pick whip to drag to the slider control value to create an expression. For this purpose, we're going to want to create a variable name for this so we can type num equals. And so already we have an expression where whatever the slider control value is, is what the text layer is showing. But if you wish for the return value to have a select number of digits, such as six digits, in this case four zeros before the 29, you can't do it with the slider control because it's going to ignore those initial zeros. So we'll need to add to the expression to fix that. We basically need to add pad to the string. So down in our expression, we'll create another variable. We can use X and X is going to equal the number of digits we want to have in our string. So let's say we want to have six digits in our string. This will mean four zeros now when we have a two digit number, five zeros if we're in the single digits. Then we're going to add the minus sign, then our variable name from above, which is num, then dot to string, which is a capital S as After Effects will remind you. Open close parentheses, dot length. Semicolon at the end, and now this variable is setting the length of your string. On the next line, in quotes, we're going to put, in this case, five zeros, dot S-U-B-S-T-R, which is for substring, and in parentheses, the value zero, then our string length variable, which was X, and then we're going to append our num variable, which is the slider value. And now, as you can see, we have added enough zeros to make this string the number of digits we specified, six. This is a great way to make a number counter have a certain number of digits, including adding that elusive zero before your actual number. Thank you.